Viso is an advanced ID cane that utilizes LiDAR and computer vision to improve the existing technology used by the visually impaired. With this device, the user is able to gain a new layer of information about their environment. The computer engineering division of the project team drafted and compiled both the machine learning software and LiDAR functionality in tandem with the feedback response modules. The electrical engineering division of the project team drafted and designed portable power systems as well as the charging system used for the device. Both divisions of the project drafted and designed the 3D printed housing of the device. The simple configuration of our device would have our camera and LiDAR sensors as well as our battery and power module be connected to our processing module then the data will be sent out to our vibration outputs. For the components that make up our device, the SlamTech RP LiDAR A1 is a 360 degree laser range sensor that is measured to scan up to 12 meters. Used in tandem with the UART I2C laser distance sensor, used for measuring distance in order to scan and generate an outline map of its surrounding environment. Paired with the LiDAR scanner will be a high resolution USB 2.0 camera meant to manage AI machine learning for visual text and object recognition. For a feedback response from the device to the user, a Yasorn flat cell mini vibration motor will be used to give the user a tactile response when the device has detected obstacles in the user's general path. The controller that will manage the usage of the devices will be via a Raspberry Pi that will be powered by two removable and replaceable 18650 lithium batteries through a buck voltage converter and can be charged through a Type-C charging port. The housing of these modules will be custom 3D printed in order to be both compact and lightweight. Here you can see the realization of our device. The 3D printed casing perfectly fits the LiDAR, camera, microcontrollers, and vibration buttons. The device is aided with an extended armrest as well as a removable ID cane. Here we have the basic concept of what our packaging of the device would be. What is also shown is the battery charging port as well as the simplicity of swapping the battery packs as well as the removal of the ID cane. The inclusion of the ID cane is for traditional use should the provided battery packs run out while the user is still outside. In this demo, we can see the RP LiDAR being used to map a room. The LiDAR is interfaced with a 2GB Jetson Nano that is running the melodic robot operating system. The data is being taken from a USB serial port on the Jetson Nano and displayed using the RViz 3D visualization tool. We can see the red dots on the screen representing points in the room where the LiDAR bounces off an object and returns to the device. The LiDAR system calculates the distance of the object by measuring the time it takes for the emitted light to travel to the object and back. We will be converting and simplifying this data into vibrations so that the user can better understand objects and obstacles in their environment. Various improvements that we could be making in the future for our device would include an implementation of an audio feedback, of which we would need to consider the inclusion of either a headset or an integrated speaker. More tactile feedback responses, such as a braille pin feedback output. Some quality life improvements, such as a faster boot time, a silent motor, and a lighter handle. As well as new technology, such as upgrading from a 2D LiDAR to a 3D LiDAR. Replacing the Raspberry Pi with something that has more graphical processing, as well as implementing Google Core, a complete prototyping toolkit from Google designed to allow users to build products with local AI. In conclusion, the Viso fits perfectly in the market for modern visually impaired walking aid devices, which to this day is currently a very stagnant market. For commercialization, the device will be planned to be fully released as a fully assembled unit in order to avoid assembly confusion as well as human error. Hopefully, this gadget will become their new favorite walking device.